Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Raj. Today I'm back with the Nova Benchmark test for Dell Inspiron 17 770 in 1 laptop. And this benchmark represents Intel 11th generation uh, i7 core processor. Uh, build number is 1165G7. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. So this is the 11th generation process. Now you can see I have done few tests already from past six days. The highest I received is uh, 2150. Most of them are in the range of 2000 I would say. And the lowest I have received when I was doing multiple things, uh, doing video editing, software rendering, things like that. So now let's go to what it's showing exactly in the details. So first of all, there's anonymous uh, benchmark results there, which I seems like maybe they are not true because some of them are like 8,000, 7,000. And I feel like maybe they are a little bit too much. But for this particular uh, processor, this benchmark score is pretty good actually. So let's go what it's showing there. So if you look at the average CPU score is 12.11. And my highest was 21.50, as I said earlier. So it's it's double than what it's showing as an average score for this particular CPU. As you can see on the top, it's showing there Core i7 1165G7. So now let's go back. And um, so you can see other stuff uh, here. Uh, it's showing your overall score is 4% lower than what? I don't know, the overall maybe just all the scores are submitted to uh, the software, NOAA benchmark score uh, software, I would say, because if it was talking about only this particular processor, then my overall score would be higher because it's showing the average score is 1211. So that's what I can assume. Now go back to results and I'll be showing you uh, some heating tests also what shows right on this software. Uh, of course, there's a thermocouples right built na uh, into the processor, which shows higher temperature than the surface temperature. But it's still, I will uh, take you guys. But yeah, overall score is pretty good. And it's in 2000 range. And I'm happy with that. And so let's go and check out the scores and then see. So let me open up Nova software and see what kind of a score it's gonna show. And I'll be doing benchmark tests right here. So let's open this thing up. Here you go, start the test now. As you can see, it's done, and the score was 1948. Keep in mind that I am doing uploading on YouTube and some other tasks, so the CPU is engaged a little bit with other stuff, but that's okay. I'm still fine with it. It didn't hang or anything, and I can see the fan louder now because it's they are trying to exhaust all the heat from inside. So yes it was pretty good test now let's move to further testing here so now let's check the temperature profile what it's showing through this nova software so right now it's pretty hot uh, but this is the temperature of the cpu not temperature of the laptop body And I can see the fan is kicking in again. It's fluctuating a lot, but it's fine. It's even going back to 60s, you know. So 
So now I'm not doing anything and then this is what it's showing when you're not doing anything pretty much and this is what it's running without any cooling pad. Let's do fast forward and then we can see if it changes a lot or not. So after three minutes, it's still the temperature is same. It's going back to 60s and then coming back to 90s, sometime even touching 100 as you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test it when we are doing something. So I'm going to export a video, which is 1080p. And I'm going to export it and then see how much temperature it's going to fluctuate. Now I can feel the fans are kicking in. I hope it will bring the temperature down a little bit because it's stuck on between 95 to 100. There you go. It went down to 85, 89. So yeah, it's even touching 80s, 81. So yeah, it looks like thermal management works pretty good. It definitely exhausts a lot of heat. And uh, let's see how it shows when you touch it. Let's measure it externally and then see the difference. So guys, as you can see on the screen, it's showing 84 degrees Celsius. Now let's see what it shows on an external. Eighty-one Fahrenheit. So maybe this temperature it's showing right here is the internal temperature, but when it comes to the body, I cannot really feel it's warm at all. It's just you see what you're showing on the body is 103.8 which is fine it's not really warm 104 so yeah it's not really showing that high temperature on the body then it's showing on a screen I think the thermocouples are deep inside near the processor so whenever temperature does go to high degrees like 95 or something then the fan kicks on the fan speed I would say kicks on higher to release that extra heat but when it comes to body it's not really that high you know so I'm pretty I'm okay with it because I, I am using this fan so it's really taking out all the air and on the surface what you get is a little bit over than room temperature it's not really that warm I'm okay with it now the thermal management is working pretty good now the temperature back to 70s even in 60s sometimes which is cool because I'm still running uh, this video editing software which consumes a lot of CPU so that's what the test guys and if you have any question please let me know but I don't think so this laptop does get really hot where it's not useful at all so and please consider subscribing to my channel that will be really helpful thank you have a good one